We've come to Sun and Fun to look at an airplane that I've enjoyed for many years and have enjoyed flying as well. It's the C-MAX M22 from Brazil, designed by my good friend Miguel Rosario. Thank I'm you. Dan Johnson, and we're going to talk about C-MAX being back in the USA now. Yes, we are back in the USA. We stay out for a couple of years, but now we are back and with new ideas. We're going to make a plant here in Florida oh. up to the end of the year. Okay, that's very different. In the past, you shipped them from exactly. Brazil. That's that's fine, of course. It won SLSA Special Light Sport Aircraft approval some years ago. So you told me uh, as part of the return to the United States, you're going to have a plant in the United States, yes, Miguel? Yes, a plant in Florida, which is our choice. Don't choose the place yet, but in Florida for sure. You're looking for the right place to be exactly. right now. And what would you do? Would you make parts in Brazil and send well, them here? We're still making parts in Brazil and okay. make probably final assembling here. Ah, uh, okay. So put the put the engine on here yeah, by the engine some here. Some parts made here go to Brazil also. Yeah, to right. Up probably myself. the avionics exactly. you're buying from the U.S. anyway, and maybe tires or stuff That's like that. Idea. I don't know. But main idea is to have a maintenance supply to all the customers. Ah, it's yes. Easier, okay. You know. Well, and that makes Americans feel more comfortable to know it comes That's from America, the idea. <laughs> even if it's a Brazilian design. They like that, but. It's kind of a long way to send money and then wonder if you're going to get anything. So if you have it here, that'll be very strong. That's the well, idea. Good luck. Right I hope idea. you find the right place. That's very exciting. You started to tell me that the airplane has changed a little bit now, too. No, no, not changed. We have a new option, which is a the new folding option. wing. Oh, okay. New option. Same airplane. But we can have an option for folding wing. One person can fold the wing really? in five minutes. Wow. So we By can himself? By himself, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's it's cool. Red. We already produce a lot. So... Part of the time we are out of the United States is testing and developing this new one. Okay, so you went away for a good reason and you're back now yeah, with exactly new stuff it. for us. New okay, stuff. wonderful. Tell me a little bit, because I know you're in many other countries, how many airplanes are flying? I'm flying about 150. 150 in airplanes, In about okay. 30 different countries around the world. So the light weight of the airplane is part of the magic. I get that. And you said that it has a high useful load. I'm looking at your chart here. It says 600 pounds useful load. Yeah, 600 how much, pounds. How much fuel are you holding? About 100 liters. I don't know the... the uh, about 25 gallons. 25 gallons okay, yeah. so, so that's about uh, 150 pounds. Yes. So that leaves 450 pounds for stuff you put inside, exactly. payload. That's two, two, that's two pretty big people that's and it. a little bit more. Exactly. So More that's luggage. unusual. You also are quite fast here, 130 miles an hour for a seaplane. That's it's pretty speedy. It's maximum speed, yeah. Yeah, and my experience, it's been some years ago since I flew with Carlos Besa, uh, but I remember being very impressed that this airplane really went. Now, it's fine for airplanes that fly a little slower because a seaplane is about looking around and seeing things, and you don't go real high typically. So speed is not usually important, but Every pilot likes to go faster of when he wants to. When you travel, but also we have the slower speed than stall speed. So what is the stall speed? It's 46 miles an hour. 46 miles an hour. Okay, so you got a nice range there in an airplane that carries a lot of stuff. It's a beautiful airplane. This is just a piece of art here, but we'll have some images of the actual airplane. And the interior looks like a speedboat. Yes. Very a, nice interior job. A sport car. You cannot see a boat inside. <laughs> That's right. So. Um, so the entry to the airplane, I remember it's been some years now, uh, but the entry to the airplane was also very easy because it, it sits yeah, it's nice and low. Yeah, it's very low. You just jump on and sit down. Yeah. Very easy. And the canopy opens canopy up and back? It's one piece open forward. Oh, it opens forward. That's yeah. right. Okay. So you, can you stand on the you floor when you up. get in? You can stand up on the airplane. Okay. So you get in, you stand on the floor, and then and you then sit you down. Sit. You don't have to step on the seat No, and stuff. you don't need to. But that pretty interior. I never like to no, step no, on no. the seat. So. Not okay. You expect to have your U.S. facility this year? This year, by the end of the year. And so when does that translate? If I said, look, I've been waiting for this, when can I get one? What do you think that, how would you answer that question today? We are ready to deliver the first airplane in the United States on new phase in about three months. Three months, okay. And let's, let's leap forward in time then to um, maybe this time next year. And if I said, okay, how quick can you get me an airplane then? After yeah. you have your U.S. facility established and so I forth. I think I can have you inside an airplane in, 30, in three months, more or less. In three months, okay. Yeah. So that's a very good number. You'll be the first one to know. I want you to tell me a little bit about some of the basics. What engine are you using, Miguel? Well, we still use the same engine, 912 ULS. Okay. That was power. Uh, we have idea to use different engines. 
but that's uh, choose from the customer. So far, the certification is only for the 912S. Yeah, and 100 horsepower gives you great performance, yeah, partly because of that, that lightweight, huh? Yeah, we don't need more than that. Okay, well, excellent. So, how about the control system inside? How, how well, are you controlling the airplane? All the moving parts are in bearings. Okay. And we only use cables for rudders and the first part of the ailerons. Otherwise, it's rods with ball bearings. Okay, so very direct linkage very there. Very direct, no plays, no gaps. And no you're nothing. using a joystick, rudder yes. pedals on both sides? Exactly. Okay. Rudder pedals, brakes over the rudder pedals, and central joystick. Same joystick for both sides. Ah, okay, okay, great. So now there's one more thing that your airplane does that many light sport don't do because they're not allowed to but you can on a, on a seaplane, the gear can go up into the fuselage. How do you actually work the gear inside the airplane, Miguel? Yeah, it's just a bottom. It's electric. Okay. Up and down. Easy. And it flaps also electric, I'm flaps guessing? Also so electric. everything is electric. You don't have and to have a big strong too. arm then, huh? That's it. You don't <laughs> need to. All right, so let's, let's go to that information that people can get more of on the web now. Give us a web address where we can reach uh, C-MAX okay, today. Okay, it's cmaxaircraft.com. And you have a whole new look, I see. You yeah, have a new we have logo. A new look. We, we, Everything is all fresh we again. Now. Little things. The website looks very nice, so people yeah. can find more about that. I've flown the airplane. I've reported about it. You can find more about C-Max and Miguel and the whole team That's and lots it. of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Miguel Rosario and myself Thank here you, at Sunny Johnson. Fund. It was a pleasure to see you again. It was great, Miguel. Thank you.